YouTube viewers, how are you? It's been a few weeks since we chatted, since I posted a video, I guess I mean. And since that time, I've gotten a lot of emails from people um, in response to my decanting perfume video, asking me to uh, elaborate and talk a little bit more about perfumes, which I'm always happy to do. So I decided that I would um, create a little series of videos and I'm going to call them perfume notes which is a little bit of a play on words um, because the the term notes is uh, frequently used in describing perfumes um, we'll talk about that a little more on another video when maybe I talk about some definitions and uh, terminology um, but for this video I'm not going to do that I'm going to actually uh, do some myth busting some of the common myths that you hear about perfume. Um, when I do these videos about perfumes, I'm not going to do reviews. Um, I personally don't really feel qualified to review a perfume I haven't sampled, usually more than once. <laughs> um, my personal perfume collection between uh, full bottles, partial bottles, which are you know decants of bottles, and um, samples, I must, um, you know, the number of scents I have is in the hundreds, easily in the hundreds. So um, I might on occasion talk about those um, or about what's going on in the news or a new fragrance that's going to be launched or just anything that kind of comes to mind. So what are some myths? Um, I guess the first myth is that there are rules at all about who should wear what type of perfume. And you hear this a lot. You'll hear someone describe a perfume as being an old lady perfume. And it usually means um, that it's a perfume that reminds them of what their grandmother might have worn. Um, frequently it's a, a heavy floral or something that's a very uh, traditional scent, like perhaps one of the older Chanel's. Um, it, you know, I, I wear those. Okay, yeah, I am old. <laughs> I wore them when I was young too, though. Um, what your age is doesn't really have anything to do with what you like or what you're prepared to wear and, and shouldn't be a guide to what fragrances you seek out. Um, just as age doesn't matter, gender doesn't matter, I have many fragrances that are marketed to men. Um, the male fragrances, women fragrances sections of your department stores are, are sorted out that way by the marketing people. They're not sorted out any other way. There's nothing particular about a fragrance that makes it a man's scent or a woman's scent. Uh, it's kind of shorthand for um, the type of notes you're likely to encounter. Um, typical male fragrances will have more leathers and smoke and uh, perhaps more incense. Um, where women's fragrances will have more um, big white florals or rose perhaps, although that's not an absolute because you will find rose in many male scents. Um, your ethnicity doesn't matter, your hair color doesn't matter. Um, so really there are no rules as to what fragrance you should be seeking out. You should be really, I hope you're all very open to going out and trying everything, which leads me to kind of a second myth and that is the idea that expensive perfumes are better than cheap perfumes. Um, not true. There are some really fabulous perfumes that are inexpensive. Um, some can even be found in drugstores. Uh, some are fantastic layered with uh, more expensive fragrances. Um, so that's, and, and I had to tell you, there are plenty of very expensive fragrances that are not much better than, you know, poop, frankly. <laughs> They're really bad. So you, 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 can't, you can't judge this by, um, by cost and people who um, kind of arrogantly say that, you know, oh, they have a very expensive fragrance uh, probably are not serious fragrance people because serious fragrance people are willing to put their nose up and sniff anything. Um, so when you're going out and you're looking for a perfume, I guess one of the other things I would encourage you to kind of throw out and totally debunk is the myth that every person has a signature scent. 
You certainly can. <laughs> if you choose to, you can go out and you can seek out that one fragrance that you think is, is most evocative of your person and wear that and everyone will associate that fragrance with you. Um, but it's not a given that, I mean, that's a choice. It's not innate that there is one fragrance for every person, that every person has a signature scent. I, in fact, have something more akin to a wardrobe of fragrances, and I change them based on my mood, the weather, my clothing, the event I'm attending, whatever. So, um, again, you know, the concept of sign signature scent, by all means, you know, if, if that's what you want to do, great. Um, but it doesn't follow that that's necessary. Um, and my last myth that I'm going to debunk for today on this is the idea that there's any such thing as a fragrance that's going to bring a man to his knees in instant adoration. Um, sometimes I hear uh, or I get questions about, you know, well, what fragrance should I choose to, you know, make someone love me? And it's not that simple. Um, and that's a, that's a big burden to put on a fragrance. You should just enjoy it for what it does for you and for how it enhances your mood and and how it uh, says something about yourself. Um, it's not going to uh, result in true romance. <laughs> um, so, you know, those are just a couple of myths and gosh, I have bunches and I actually consulted some of my fragrance friends about the, the bunches of, of myths that are out there and I'm going to do some more and I'll talk um, in some other videos about uh, maybe some history about fragrances and if you find this at all interesting, if you find me at all interesting talking about perfumes, <laughs> you know, let me know. Um, and if you want to know what I like, I'll, I'll tell you that too. Again, you know, I'm reluctant to do reviews, but, uh, um, and gosh knows there are plenty of people out there who do those. So I hope you're all having a good February. It's cold here on the East Coast. And I will talk with you soon. Um, bye.